Good morning, Sunshine. I'm Carrie Pena alongside Brandon Lee, and we are broadcasting today from the Center for Positive Media. We are so excited to welcome to our studio David Soto Griego, owner of Connection, talking about holistic fitness. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you guys for so much for having me. Um, it's a blessing to be here. We have to jump into this by first setting setting the stage about your story. Can you just share a little bit with the audience? I mean, you have you have quite a story to to share about what brought you to this place today in terms of opening up a holistic fitness facility. Um, goodness, um, it's it, a Reader's Digest version. I was you, raised in a normal dysfunctional family. Uh, everybody has their sort of issues that they go through, and um, we tend to hide from them when we can and mine led to addictions alcoholism lots of other stuff and eventually led to um, homelessness um, uh, even at, held at gunpoint DEA being detained you name it uh, just to, like I said Reader's Digest version and um, I got myself clean got myself straightened out and um, but I've always had a vision and want always wanted to help people so this afforded me the opportunity because everything that I learned was stuff that I could share with other people. So in that Reader's Digest version of your traumatic kind of life experiences, what did you begin to do in a holistic way that began to allow your body to reset and heal? Um, a lot of it was when, when I first, um, when I first discovered in the 12-step uh, the program, recovery, that aspect, I was first introduced to a Native American shaman and I began to study with him. And for me, I understand what was missing for me. Obviously, you have to work on all your stuff. But what was missing for me is, is, was a belief system, a, a spirituality. And that was the foundation for my healing is when they introduced this aspect that, that I didn't even know existed. And it's part of my heritage as well. Um, I just really latched onto it and really took off. So what I was taught was how to learn because so many people go through life and they have experiences and they don't learn, just like they were saying. They don't learn because they don't know how to, but I, I learned how I grow, how I operate, how I interact with the world. And I was able to really just expand myself uh, spiritually and that led me to really working on, like you said, working on the things, learning the lessons. And then I discovered that all of the things that I was learning, I could also share with people. And you're doing that in this space, connection. Correct, yes. You had a vision. Can you tell the audience about this vision you had about opening up this space? Four years ago, um, I was actually in Peru. I did an ayahuasca ceremony. And in the ceremony, I, I, I saw, I literally saw the building, I saw the facility, and I'm going to get emotional. Um, I saw everything, and it was such a tremendous gift for me because um, it fed into my passions to help people. It fed into all the hard work that I put in to create myself a stronger, better person. So. I want to do my best to give back because I have been given so much throughout my existence, period. But in my uh, conscious awareness of my spiritual path, I have been given so much. I do want to focus back on connections because I think it's really important because I think what you're able to offer so many people who are experiencing battling addiction, right, and so many other, th and, and, and so many other traumas in their life, um, I want to kind of go through the different modalities that you have created at Connections. First is Q1 Yoga. Kind of explain what Q1 Yoga it's, is. It's Chi Yoga. Okay. Um, and and as I pronounce it, Q1. Q1. <laughs> I'm like looking. I'm first off. I wasn't going to say anything. But <laughs> you really? I, listen, I'm not a yogi. It's probably one thing, both of my shamans, because I have two, because I'm special like that. I need that extra one. Um, they're like, you should We can practice, take it up a notch. You well, should we'll practice call it yoga. Q1. And I'm yeah. like, not really sure that's in the thing, this one. So Brandon will just keep it at Q1, because I'm just going to own it. Um, I call it Chi Yoga, uh, basically, because I'm also a Qigong instructor. 
Um, and, and Qigong is a different type of martial arts, but it, it's an internal martial arts where you actually bring energy into your body. It's a moving meditation. So I, I combine a little bit of meditation with a little bit of movement. So it's a little bit of stillness, a little bit of movement, but I also introduce some breath work and some sound. So it's a little bit of uh, breath, a little bit of movement, a little bit of sound, and a, and a lot of peace. That sounds a lot better than hot yoga. I did one hot yoga class, and that was the last yoga did, class I ever <laughs> went to, hence the Q1. Um, <laughs> gong and breath empowerment. You call it gong and breath empowerment. It, it's, uh, well, and along with, it, it's Qigong. It's a different type of, of breath work because a lot of breath work that's out there, it induces what is, uh, physiologically is called tetany. Mm -hmm. So you have that cramping up. What I teach and what I do is actually empowering. So you do not get, have that tetany, but it actually invigorates every single cell because it brings oxygen into your body, oxygenates your bloodstream. It, it helps you to actually balance hormones and a lot of other health benefits that calms you down, uh, uh, vagal stimulation. Um, but what it does is it leaves you empowered rather than shaking from trying to release. And then the bioenergetic reset. Yes, that is a technique that I created myself and it, it is also a combination of, I use tuning forks because I, because I, I work on a different level than a lot of people, I, I believe in frequency, I believe in vibration, I believe in sound. So our, you have a chakras that are aligned in our systems that they give us a certain frequency, a certain sound, a certain vibration. So do these uh, tuning forks. But to get to somebody to the point where you can actually sense them through your body, we do a little bit of breath work. And then I do a little bit of shamanic work because it is a guided meditation, but I use these frequencies to attune the body back to where it's reset. So oftentimes it releases some of the old traumas, the stuff that attaches as we grow up. You know, like my brother took my pencil when I was five years old. At five years old, that's your entire life. Mm -hmm. You know, but it, it still affects us today. Right. So it's a really lot of that stuff, yeah. Because it, you're saying don't minimize how you feel. Brandon always talks about this. Don't minimize you, the, you. I cannot measure my emotions with, or your emotions with my yardstick. Yes. Yeah. Cannot. David, how do you think, uh, and I want the audience to sort of visualize because this is holistic fitness. You're a very fit person, so I'm assuming you also do physical fitness, lifting weights. And But how has this sort of approach to mind, body, spirit fitness, how do you think that has helped you? <laughs> Gosh, how hasn't it helped me is a better way to explain it. Um, it I've just always have, because of my spiritual background, I've always had a, a very healthy spiritual life. And I know how it affected me when I started working out. If I'm not able to, and at one time I wanted to lift more, I wanted to get bigger, and that was my goal at the time. And for me to do that, I would do some breath work, and then I could lift heavier weight. Um, that's not always the goal. So I work with people with whatever the goals they're, they're working towards. But oftentimes our limitations are based in emotional aspects as well. So that I, I can't do this goes back to I'm not worthy when your mother didn't give you the nurturing that you, you know. Yeah, that so childhood attachment. Exactly. So exists. everything interweaves. I, I don't understand why it's not part of everything because it's such an, uh, an important part of life. I mean, the mind, body, spirit, how, how can you not treat the entire being? That's, that's how I feel. I love your mission and everything that you're accomplishing. Congratulations on your success. Thank you. And where can people find out more? Um, www.conxion, M is in mind, B is in body, S is in spirit.com. Yeah, check sign out. up. We can do Q1, Q1 yoga. yoga. Yeah, Q1 yoga. I'll be there. I'm so for excited the for this. One. Absolutely. Both my healers will be so proud of me for taking a Q1 <laughs> yoga class with David. <laughs> David, you rock. Thank you so very much. Thank you I appreciate so much. You. Appreciate and you. And thanks to all of you for watching. Good morning, sunshine. Since you're already here, hit that little bell notification symbol. It'll send you a notification every time we upload a new episode. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you back here for the next episode.